Rule number 27, just because you're dumping someone doesn't mean you shouldn't look your best. <laughs> oh, God, that's him. What are we gonna do? Okay, don't worry. I'll let him down gently. Destroy him. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey, what are you doing home so late? Well, I had detention. I thought someone was gonna come down to my school, sit on my teacher's desk, cross her legs, and get me out of it. Oh. <laughs> what complaining? Friend forgot to chaperone me on my date. You don't hear me complaining. <laughs> a hickey, Maggie? Did you really think that you were gonna hide a hickey from me with a little pressed powder? You need oil-based concealer. <laughs> Kids, I've been neglecting you. I'm so sorry. It's just because I've been so busy with Rosie. I'm forgetting everything. I don't even know how I get to rest in the morning. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, it's a thong. Okay. Go away! I couldn't hear you. Did you say come in? <laughs> no, but do what you want. You will anyway. I brought you some Malamars. You're too depressed to eat. Gee, I wish depression had that effect on me. Do you know how humiliated I feel? Losing my boyfriend to my nanny? Honey, I think you're too old to have a nanny. I mean, it's okay for Brighton and Gracie, but I like to think of you and I more like friends. Some friend. Friends steal their friends' boyfriends? Absolutely not. I mean, take me and Val. Sure, there were plenty of times when we would meet a guy and she would fall in love with him and he would fall in love with me. Or I would fall in love with him and he would fall in love with... No, that never happened. <laughs> the point is, though, we never let it ruin our friendship. And that's the official girlfriend's code. The what? You never heard of the official girlfriend's code? The OGC. No. Oh, what do they teach you in those private schools? <laughs> rule number one. You never gossip about your best friend. A totally moronic rule that nobody follows. <laughs> so we'll move on to rule number two. If a girl falls for a guy, and the idiot guy falls for her FFS and but totally blameless friend, <laughs> Then the aforementioned friend is obliged to dump him. You would do that for me? Honey, it's the OGC. <laughs> Maybe I will have one of those Malamars. <laughs> Rule number three, when it comes to chocolate, it's every girl for herself. So, Gracie, are you excited about your play date with Willie? I think Willie just wants me for my toys. Oh, sweetie, you might as well get used to it. You're gonna be guarding your toys for the rest of your life. Well, we're off. First game of the Broadway Show League. Oh, Mr. Sheffield, don't you look adorable? <laughs> Gee, I don't think I've ever seen you in jeans before. Huh. Wait a minute, turn around, I think you got a rip. No, no, looking good. <laughs> you can always get your money back. You know, Mom once got a refund on a chicken carcass that she claimed the meat fell off on the way home. <laughs> Tilt your head. Can I vacuum in there yet? You know, I think there's more than enough suction going on in that room. Why don't you give him some privacy? Niles, I'm performing a very important function. I'm watching out for her father. <laughs> yeah, the minute Mr. Sheffield comes walking through that front door, I'll just shift right into my nanny shtick. Maggie, you're too young, yada yada. Wow, would you look at the way she tilts her head? You know, I tilted that. Oh, gee, Niles, that abdominizer I bought you is really paying off. <clears throat> Not that your body could ever compare with Mr. Sheffield. You're so handsome and young. Great. What are we ever gonna do with that girl? She's completely out of control. Maybe I should hire another nanny to watch her. Well, you know, that would really free me up a lot. To Miss Fine! <laughs> 
Look, I'm very concerned about Margaret. She has three weeks of winter vacation coming up, and I don't want her spending the entire time on that couch kissing some boy. Oh, why don't you do what my father did when I entered my makeout years? Mm -hmm. He walked into the den and he spliced into the neighbor's cable. And? <laughs> I don't know. We haven't seen him since. It's fine. Oh, Mr. Sheffield, she's going to be 17. I mean, all she's doing is kissing. It's not as if she's running out of the house to meet some wild drifter who's picking her up on a motorcycle. <laughs> Gotta go. That's my date. Wow, I can't believe all this food's for free. Yeah, and if you count your losses, it only comes out to $49 a shrimp. <laughs> Eat up. I lost my shirt in kitty craps. <laughs> what are you doing? What? I love three bean salad. What is this, your first buffet? Salads are for suckers. Go directly to the shellfish. <laughs> oh, would you just look at this beautiful gulf prawn. Gorgeous color, great markings. This will be delicious later. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Hurry up. Tournament's going to start soon. It's fine. Where's your mother? Too nervous to eat? Please. She had a snack during her hysterectomy. <laughs> Is it warm in here? I'm schwitzing. Oh. Honey, are you OK? No, I don't think I can play. You better make up with your mother. Well, what hurts? Oh, yeah, I think I'm going through the change. It's going around. The whole room's got it. Well, don't worry, B. I'm sure that Flintstones makes a chewable estrogen. <laughs> Honey, I know what you're doing, and it's so sweet of you. Oh, come on, Fran. Plain means more to you than it does to me. Besides, I already told him I quit. Oh, is he a doll or what? Brighton, that's a very nice gesture. I, I'm proud of you. I learned from the best. Oh, well. Not you, Dad. Gilligan. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was the episode where the Howells adopt Gilligan, only he pretends to sleepwalk because the skipper is lonely. Oh. Well, Miss Fine, come on. If the team needs you, I suppose you better get in there. Are you kidding? The way my mother treated me? She can come in here on her hands and knees begging. I wouldn't go. Freddy. You're in. All right. <laughs> what? Was that my mother? Ooh. Fred, I think I sprained my cheek. Well, you should have warmed up first. Oh, Max, I'm so excited for you. Because, you know, I used to be a model. Oh, really? What did you model? Feet. All the vines have fabulous feet. There's not a corn, bunion, or fungus among us. Oh, Fran, I'm so nervous. Aww. I mean, what if I'm no good at this? Aww. Then I win 20 bucks. Gracie has a lot of faith in you. Where did you get 20 bucks from, miss? I won it when Maggie didn't make cheerleader. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, forget them. Come on, here's the most important thing. You have to look subtle natural and understated, like this. Well, that doesn't look very natural. Yeah, but look at my feet. <laughs> oh, they still have so much left to say. Fran, you're so great to do this for me. Uh oh, sweetheart, we're just getting started. I have so much wisdom to impart, like how to purse your lips to get that little pouty look, how to smell cauliflower, you know, for that who cares about you look, and then the best look of all. What's that for? That's for when they give you the check for the other two looks. Ah!